So right on schedule, Apple just released iOS 18.6 Beta 2 exactly two weeks after the initial beta came out. And this is right on schedule, like we said. They are basically alternating weeks between iOS 26 and iOS 18.6 betas. That will only continue for a few weeks since they will eventually go to a weekly release cycle. But here we are today on the 30th with the second beta. And first things first, I do have to tell you this did come in at only 444 megabytes, substantially smaller than what we got in beta one. And also I can tell you just because of how terrible 18.6 first initial install was on heat, this one feels a lot better even though it is running a little higher than what you would normally hope to see. It is still within reason from Apple's updates, especially considering what iOS 26 betas have been doing to these devices heat wise. Once an install is complete, it was wrecking battery life. Now, let me go ahead and get into this and show you about general and about, and you can see beta two now has a full version number of 22 G 5064 D. So, we are still on track, as you can see here. I would anticipate a few more betas to go before we get our public release for this, but iOS 18.6 and possibly 18.7 will be the end of iOS 18, since most of the focus has already shifted to iOS 26 at this point. We did get a new modem firmware last update on beta one. We are now at 1.03.60-1, but Aside from that, let me actually show you also what the iPhone storage is at considering what we were experiencing with iOS 26. And as you can see, iOS 18.6 carries a hefty weight of 18.11 gigabytes. It is still a little smaller than what 26 was at over 20 gigabytes, but it is all good here as well. Again, we just talked about that modem update. This is still a different update than what we have on iOS 26. Just keep that in mind. They don't match, but it should be okay. Nonetheless, with hopefully a little bit more of connectivity improvements here. One thing I can tell right off the bat from scrolling and actually just looking around the app using the ecosystem hat, what is, um, it's been super smooth. As you can see, jumping into whatever you might want to look at, we are moving well, 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 um, in a much better pattern than what we are getting in iOS 26 and even iOS 18.5. So that is definitely good to see. Again, don't expect any new features in this build. All of those resources have been put in to iOS 26 and you know what comes with that, but this is more of a security update. So hopefully we will continue to see updates for stability and improvements along those lines. Unsurprisingly though, here again, no new feedback app updates. This is something Apple really needs to get better at doing. Unfortunately, they are still not showing us what all is new, timely here or on the open developer website. So if I actually go into settings here, or excuse me, on Apple's developer website, you can see we do have that new update release notes here. But unfortunately, that is all we see. No new release notes for the software update. Pretty crazy. I don't know what's really going on with Apple and their details here, but it's kind of unacceptable. We need to know what they're improving here so we can submit feedback and let them know. But yeah, just like with beta one, beta two shows no notes. I will say though, I have noticed Wi-Fi connections have seemed to be a little bit better than what I've seen in 18.5. So if you've been on the fence or have had numbers of issues with 18.5s, connectivity, battery, performance, this could be a good beta build to go to. We should receive a public beta as well here, and that will help it along just as well. I did run a benchmark test on beta one, so you guys could see it. I will go ahead and run another one, and we can compare that as well. So I will go ahead and run this, and we will be right back. All right, so the benchmark test just finished, and I do wanna show you exactly what the history was. And you can see we have a nice jump from beta one with a single core score at 2668 to 3158. And the multi-score also had a nice little jump at 6679 to 7706. Definitely good to see. Now let's talk about the release schedule and what we can really anticipate here since June's pretty much over and we are into July starting tomorrow. And I'm assuming 
next week on the 7th, we will receive the next beta of iOS 26. And then on the 14th, we will receive iOS 18. 0.6 beta 3 and then most likely a weekly release schedule after that it'll be interesting to see since we're running these beta simultaneously plus public releases that are coming out there is a ton in the pipeline that apple is working on so aside from that it should be interesting i definitely have a good feeling about how well this is operating much improved over what we had again even in beta 1 already short term speaking now i will also say we will do a battery check and a performance update to you guys as soon as probably Thursday after we get about 48 hours in and everything finishes refreshing. So make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified when that goes live. But that's it for this. Let me know how 18.6 has been working for you guys in the comments. I'm only one person. I want to know how it is for you all. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.